Have you ever come to change the view properties and been unable to do so? So for example, with this view here, which is a section view, if I have a look at the view scale, everything in there is grayed out and I can't select it. Likewise, the detail level, graphic display, also in the properties itself, those properties are grayed out here change some of the things but a lot of the the key um, view properties are grayed out and we're unable to change them uh, this this might be common if you're a new user to Revit and particularly if you have picked up a project that's been developed by someone else or maybe you've received this project in from an external company um, and you're suddenly hit with this fact that you want to change something and you're unable to do so um, this says there's several possible reasons for this. One of the most common is that a view template has been locked to this particular view. So if we scroll down the properties of the view itself, we can see here view template and indeed there is a view template applied. So I've got separate videos on exactly what view templates are and how to create them, but a very quick uh, summary. View templates are a way to capture a series of settings on how you want a particular view to be configured in terms of its detail level, um, visual styles, etc. You capture that snapshot, give it a name, and then you can apply that quickly to other views to make them look the same. And so they're all um, sort of in sync. But you can also lock a view to a particular view template, which means it will always look the same in terms of its presentation according to what settings have been configured for that particular template. So that's just what's happened here. This particular view has a view template assigned, hence we're not allowed to override and upset that, that visual um, configuration that's been set. So if you do need to change it, and, and again, just be careful if you uh, are working with a project that, that's say someone else has started or you've received because there may be very good reasons why that's important that that view template is um, adhered to but if you want to be able to, to change anything you can just select that there just select none hit ok and now you've got access again to all your your visual properties and finally I'll just end by saying that if we edit the type for this view so even Revit views have their own types which you can configure um, you'll see there that we can actually uh, configure it so that a particular template is applied when you create a brand new view from scratch but I'll cover that process in a separate video